He has to control the middle of the line of scrimmage for the Florida State defense. Castellanos, a little pitch fit. The pocket starts to collapse. Slips one out on the edge. Nowhere for McGowan to go. That was a good read, rifling up towards the line of scrimmage. Oh, it's got to be Kyle, Ro Kyle Robichaud. This is a guy who's a fourth down. Instead, it's Castellanos. <laughs> reaches the ball out at the goal line. He's in. That's a BC touchdown. What a statement drive by Boston College. And they take the lead. Castellanos, our thousand yard quarterback rusher. We'll let him go ahead and do it. And you just see here, he just follows behind Dwayne Alex. Get a four-man rush. There's the wheel route, and this time Treshawn Ward makes sure down the sideline. The same play where he dropped the football on the opening possession. Back to the ground attack. And they get attacked. Patrick Payton, he didn't fall for the fake. And he dumps Castellanos behind the line. Second down and goal, back to the 13. Castellanos down for Ward at the pylon. He slips inside for another Boston College touchdown. Treshawn Ward victimizes his old team. And BC's got a two touchdown lead. You're just going to see the confusion between Fen Charles Cyphers and Shaheem Brown. BC brings a blitz. We the blitz. Sets up Lucas. He gets free. Inside the 15. Sprinting inside the 10. Oh, there's the playmaker making a play. First and goal, Knowles. A gain of 24. Play with quick tempo. We the Can't avoid the sack. Down he goes. Donovan Ezaraku with a big sack for BC back outside the 10. And that Ezeraku sack changed this entire possession. And now Florida State has no choice but to settle for the field goal. Well, facing third down here. And PC is six for eight on third down. Will go down. Well short of the first down. Daniel Lyons didn't buy the fake. And a little pushing and shoving after the play is over. A lot of players showing pressure. They'll rush only four. Uyunglele tries to escape the pocket. Floats one out to midfield. Terrific play by Uyunglele to Ja'Kai Douglas. Well protected on first down here. And makes BC pay. That time the pass rush didn't get home. And Malik Benson has a Florida State first down. And there he goes. He gets the push. And an easy fourth down conversion for Uyunglele. Ryan Fitzgerald from short range, 24 yards away. That's the second time, though, that Florida State has gotten down to the six yard line. And on both of those possessions, they have had to settle for only three. And they go right back to Davis. This time, not nearly as much room. He lost a yard. One-on-one -on -one coverage down here at the bottom of the screen. And they will snap it. Not a hard count. A sidearm lob, and it's intercepted. Max Tucker down the sideline. Inside the 10-yard line. First and goal, Boston College. A chance taken. He, by FSU and it blows up in their face. He wanted to go down here to Portier who had or Portier who had one on one against Amari Jackson and had to pull it down. You see him look and then he has to pull it down. The pressure's getting to him. He's trying to find somewhere to unload the football. And Max Tucker is just sitting there waiting. Tips it over, throws defensive backs. No, Aaron throws. You just got to catch it. That's not a panic move. Yeah, it, it definitely, definitely feels like panic in this situation, trying to create some momentum. Castellanos to the goal line and BC converts. Robichaud with the touchdown. And the Eagles extend their lead. Running back out here in the flat. You're getting a little natural pick route. They're just kind of right now taking advantage. Mike Norvell said, look, we have to make a concerted effort to get him the football. But you got to make the plays. McGowan lets it bounce and it takes a sideways hop out of bounds inside the five yard line. Johnny Goudreau's young children, Matthew's child on the way. 
and all of their family and friends from everyone at ESPN. Treshawn Ward out to the 25-yard line. Conditioning, hydration, all going to play a big part of this. If we head through this third quarter. And now up the middle goes the freshman Turbo Richard. And he lives up to his name and picks up 15 more yards. Third and 11 after the timeout. A rollout. Pressure coming. We on the left. On time. Jalen Brown. First down. That's a big throw. Dropped to 10% with a loss to Georgia Tech. It drops to 1% if they don't come back and win this game. And now a trick play. The throwback. Uyangalala takes a shot. And Tron Port's here. He's got it. Murray Jackson, one of their best cover corners. Their best cover corner. That's a smart play call by Mike Morvell. Port's here again. Fights his way through contact. And right now, you're starting to see who's going to emerge, who Mike Norvell is going to call on. And that's a fantastic long throw by DJ Uyunglele. Opposite hash, putting the ball right on the money. And now BC has it at their own 40-yard line. And they'll go jet sweep. McGowan, go check that. A counter play. That's Castellanos with a good fake. Second and long now. you got to convert this to third and long. This is an important down because it frees up the defensive coordinator on third down. Breaking tackles is Ward. All the way inside the 15 down to the 11-yard line. 6'5", 330 pounds. Joshua Farmer, 6'3", 318. show up the middle with a flag down. He's in the end zone for a touchdown. See Trapillo just moving the line of scrimmage. People go, well, you know what? Considering what your what your uh, pedigree is, we believe you will invest. So what he's doing is he's building this thing from the ground up, basically. Well, not from the ground up, but he's making the enhancements, Bob. Mm -hmm. Big third down, maybe get the ball again. To Portier it's at the top of the screen, one on one coverage. You see blitz coming. We are gonna let double clutch, and that's right where they go. Uh, Lewis, you saw that matchup. They take advantage again. You are absolutely right, Chris. I was down there pregame. I was like, man. Backpedaling, Uyunglele, and he just has to dirt the ball. Again, it's Ezeraku blowing that play up in the offensive backfield. This would be one of the biggest road wins they've had in years if they could hold on here. Uyunglele, pocket collapsing. He's got nowhere to go. Sacked again. That being from town, his wife going to BC. This was, in so many ways, the perfect opportunity for him as Castellanos gets wrapped up and goes down. So Boston College will have to punt again. Malik Benson, fantastic athlete. He's just someone they've got to find a way to get the ball to him down the field. Seam shot. Another completion. Now to about the 46-yard line. I'm not justifying the decision. I, I'm just saying this, this is just peak peak frustration and in, and in essence it is waving the white flag and there goes Castellanos spinning into the secondary with a first half that will shake the core and the foundation of your locker room like hey man are we like what is happening here Castellanos on a counter keeper slides with a first half Bill O'Brien comes from a background a history Robichaud about that He's got eyes for the end zone. Inside the five yard line down to the four. And that brings us down to the two minute timeout. 35 more yards for Kai Robisha. As Bill O'Brien's era at Boston College begins with a win against a ranked opponent for BC for the first time in an opener since 1976.